You will receive the power of the Holy Spirit coming upon you, and you will be my witnesses even to the end of the earth. Alleluia. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. To prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries, let us first call to mind our sins and ask God for pardon and peace. Lord Jesus, you were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. May the power of the Holy Spirit come to us, we pray, O Lord, that we may keep you faithfully, keep your will faithfully in mind and express it in a devout way of life. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. While Apollos was in Corinth, Paul traveled through the interior of the country and down to Ephesus where he found some disciples. He said to them, Did you receive the Holy Spirit when you became believers? They answered him, We've never even heard that there is a Holy Spirit. He said, How were you baptized? They replied, With the baptism of John. Paul then said, John baptized with the baptism of water and repentance telling the people to come to believe in the one who was to come after him, that is, in Jesus. When they heard this, they were baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus. And when Paul laid hands on them, the Holy Spirit came down upon them, and they spoke in tongues and prophesied. Altogether there were about twelve men. He entered the synagogue and for three months debated boldly with persuasive arguments about the kingdom of God. The word of the Lord. Alleluia. Alleluia. God arises, his enemies are scattered, and those who hate him flee before him. As smoke is driven away, so are they driven as wax melts before the fire. Alleluia. But the just rejoice and exult before God. They are glad and rejoice. Sing to God, chant praise to his name, whose name is the Lord. Alleluia. The father of orphans and the defender of widows is God in his holy dwelling. God gives a home to the forsaken. He leads forth prisoners into prosperity. Alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. The disciples said to Jesus, Now you are talking plainly and not in any figure of speech. Now we realize that you know everything and that you do not need to have anyone question you. Because of this, we believe that you came from God. Jesus answered them, Do you believe now? Behold, the hour is coming and has arrived when each of you will be scattered to his own home, and you will leave me alone. But I am not alone, because the Father is with me. I have told you this so that you might have peace in me. In the world you will have trouble. But take courage. I have conquered the world. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. An apology to begin with. I realize I'm, when I'm in my little chapel here away, I stack the phone on books, and the books are a little crooked. So I'm not crooked, you're not crooked, the phone is. We're so used in our modern world to, um, to bad customer service, really customer disservice. Something breaks, you talk to a machine. If you ever, in the, by the grace of God, get to talk to a human being, the odds are it's the wrong office, department, whatever. You are on hold until you are connected to someone else. It's, it's become a normative thing in our daily life. The cable's down, well, give it an hour because you're going to be talking to a machine and not a human being. But that concept is the exact opposite of what Jesus assures us in today. There is no holding, there is no middleman, there is <clears throat> no customer service computer representative when we want to go to God. He said, "Don't now you realize that the Father is in me, we are one. So that if we want access <clears throat> to God's very life, it's in Jesus Christ who is true God and true man. Jesus who, who lives in his church and through his sacraments, and when we are gathered together, either spiritually or physically, he is among us. 
that we need not sit on hold this day. We want to be in communion with God, open up his word, spend some time in spiritual communion uh, after this Mass, uh, spend a little time taking a walk and just being present to the God who manifests himself in all creation. There is no middleman anymore. Jesus Christ is true God and true man, and so we have access to the Father. We, he is not some old guy on a cloud far away, but the one who is in Jesus, who is in us. And so we pray. We pray for our Holy Father and for all those who lead and guide us in faith, that we, they may lead us to the Father in all they do. We pray, Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for those who are sick and suffering, especially from the coronavirus, and those who mourn the loss or are dying by themselves, and for those who care for them, we pray, Lord, hear our prayer. For our nation, for a unity of purpose to um, bring about peace and healing, especially not just physically, but also economically in these challenging days, we pray, Lord, hear our prayer. For the intentions which rest in the silence of our hearts, we pray, Lord, hear our prayer. And for our beloved dead, especially for Edie Mulholland, for whom this Mass is offered, may she live with God for all eternity, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear these prayers because we bring them to you through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands that will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, and work of human hands that will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept this sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May this unblemished sacrifice purify us, O Lord, and impart to our minds the force of grace from on high, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts, we lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. <coughs> it is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For after his resurrection he plainly appeared, appeared to all his disciples, and was taken up to heaven in their sight, that he might make us sharers in his divinity. Therefore overcome with vascal joy every land, every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory, as they acclaim, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. 
Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Wilton our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember your servant Edium who called from this world to yourself. Grant that she who was united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours for ever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that on the by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace, Mercy. Peace, Sally. Peace, Mom. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. I will not leave you orphans, says the Lord. I will come to you again, and your heart will rejoice. Alleluia. Let us pray. Graciously be present to your people, we pray, O Lord, and lead those you have imbued with heavenly mysteries to pass from former ways to newness of life through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. And we remember this day in a very special way all those who have given their life to serve our country. Thank you all for your service.